guys welcome back to my channel it's all this lifestyle if it's your first time please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like share and drop your comments in the comment section let me know what you guys think today i have an exciting thing to discuss with you guys it's going to be about two cities here in canada i'm trying to give you guys insight about so without further ado let us dive in into this video all right, just like I said, I have uh, two cities in Canada I'm trying to give you guys insights about and this is going to be like an advice to somebody that is wanting to move to Canada or is already in Canada or you are in Canada and you're trying from a different province, you're trying to see which city you should move to in Ontario. So obviously I've lived in both cities, that's why I can give my own opinion about it. The two cities, I'm pretty sure you guys already guess. guess. Yeah, so I'll be talking about Ottawa and I'll be talking about Toronto as well. You know, a lot of people are always saying Ottawa is very boring, it's so quiet, it's too quiet, da 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 da. Not gonna lie, that's true, no lies. And people are like, oh my god, Toronto is life of a party, da 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 da. That's true as well. There is no lie between both cities. So I have a note that I wrote down because it's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. So I'm like, you know what? It's better for me to just write them down and speak from there instead of just going off it and repeating stuff, which is one thing I'm trying to avoid. All right. So I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of both cities so you guys can see. So it's not all glitters that are gold. So Firstly, just like I said earlier, Toronto is a very lively city. Uh, lively city. It, uh, just always things to pop, like things to do, like new stores popping up, you know, sometimes maybe like food stuff, maybe like a clothing brand or like a makeup brand popping up in the city and they're like, you know what, let's test and see if they are going to generate income. So that's why most stores like do stuff like that, just to see and see maybe there is audience for them to make things so Toronto is very good with that there's always things popping up be it educational or, or entertaining uh, industry whatever it is on the other end Ottawa is a quiet city it's boring and it's kind of like a, for serious minded people I'm not gonna lie and people that don't like distraction like if you want to focus you don't want to be distracted about what's going on in the city and everything like that Ottawa is the best option for you in my own advice and again also because if you're someone that you're you like your quiet area you you like it's boring but i'm pretty sure there are other cities that are more boring like cornwall i've been i've lived in cornwall too cornwall is even worse than ottawa i know people are always say oh my god ottawa is boring but darling if you live in cornwall you're gonna realize ottawa is a uh, lively city so you can tell it's like there's always someone that's always above you or below you when it comes to stuff like that so uh like i said toronto is good for life of the party people people like love the bustling the traffic you know late night adventures you want to do things stores open up late and everything like that toronto is that on the other end ottawa is not so I feel like maybe because it's a lot of like, you know, government offices here, there's a ministry of this, da da da, there's the, the house assembly, the house of the assembly, da da da, all stuff like that. So it's kind of like very, very like straightforward, like just don't, don't distract me kind of a city. I am actually a mixture of an introvert and an extrovert. I know people are going to be like, ah, oh, you? That's a lie. Trust me, I am. I love Toronto because obviously that was that's my city it's always going to be my city all the words is my city it's always going to be my city but i love toronto because i know there's things going on so even though i'm a very boring person once in a while maybe i'm just tired of staying at home i'm like you know what let me just go out so i know there is something for me to do so i'm always like yeah something trust me just go on instagram go on blog t or whatever this thing or six balls you will find something like just open up and you're like you know what yeah let me go try this whereas here in ottawa you don't really have that option so like when it comes to like content creation i it's not really like good for somebody that wants to really grow i'm not saying it's not good but you cannot compare with toronto that just things popping up for people to do right 
that's why I said I'm kind of like an introvert, extrovert, because people look at me and when I talk or when I interact with people, maybe I work at school or outside, people, oh my god, girl, you're in life of a party, da 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 da. And they become my friend and they realize that, huh? Kill you boring. I'm like, I know. I feel like I have a facade. I, I show people to think, oh my god, she's very entertaining. I want to anger with you. Honey, you don't want to anger with me because I'm always gonna be like, no. All I love to do is just sleep and eat. Once I'm back from work, I just want to sleep and I just want to eat. Don't call my phone. Don't. Don't. Only my friends know. Like, my friends don't call me. And we don't talk all the time, but they know. Like, if my friends call me, I will always speak up. But most of the time, I love my sanity. Like, don't. 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 Just leave, leave me alone, please. Leave me alone, please. Don't call me. I just want to sleep. So... I know people are always saying otherwise boring is boring, but there is no way it is boring. There are things going on. I'm pretty sure there's clubs, there's like low-key things going on. You may not know compared to like Toronto that if something is going on or even artists is in the city, you're going to know. Here you may not know based on like, you know, it's not a lot of like entertainment out there, but for sure, for sure, it, just parties going on, clubs are going on. There are people walking in the clubs, there are people walking in bars. So there's no way it's boring like that. Things like that are going on, but they're just low key to me. That's what I feel like. So, uh, what's it called? Montreal is the closest city to anybody that wants to have, like, you know, you want to have this kind of like life of a party kind of space or time in your life. So, Montreal is going to be your best option, which is like an hour or two hours away. Or if you want to do a road trip, Toronto will be your best option. Because well, I think Toronto is like four, five hours, depending road trip. So you pick your option if you want to do this. If you want to go to Montreal, one hour, two hours. But then the only problem with Montreal is you know it's a French kind of speaking city. So but not everybody speaks French. But so you know how French people are. If you don't speak French, you always look at you so weird. You're like you relax. It's not serious. But it's the closest city to entertainment. But also, it's a different province. So it's not under Ontario. You're going outside of Ontario. Now you're already in Quebec. Or I think I think Gatineau is actually much closer to Montreal. One of those two are like the closest city for you to have any entertainment. And summer, I feel like summer is keeping Ottawa alive. In my previous video, I went to Ottawa Asian Festival. This is here in Ottawa. So like, I feel like summer is the best time for Ottawa for events and stuff like that compared to like during the winter time I feel like winter time everywhere everybody knows winter time is a depressing time of the year and it's the longest month of the year like only for a break so summertime people are like alive like people want to go out you know you want to entertain yourself you're tired of wearing jacket and everything like that so summertime this city comes alive and I am happy about that Okay, so now to the things I noticed they don't have in the city that we have back in Toronto. So there is no cheesecake factory. I'm not a cheese person, but I just love cheesecakes. Cake. I don't know what to say. I just love that. But they don't have it, which I'm kind of like, this is the capital like of the whole country. Why didn't you have a cheesecake factory? It makes no sense to me. On my to my own, like on my own. Uh, opinion also they don't have captain boy captain boy is a seafood uh restaurant we have a lot in toronto but i haven't seen anyone here maybe i haven't done a lot of research but i'm pretty sure they will have another version or and if they don't i've seen things on instagram about like montreal having a seafood this thing which is i feel like it's even way better than captain boy so i know if at the time i'm really craving a seafood and i really want it so bad montreal will definitely be my next option if i can find anyone here in ottawa also there is no jollibee jollibee is a filipino fast food restaurant something like a mcdonald's but so this is a filipino one we have i'm not sure maybe three or four back in toronto but there is none here which i'm also kind of like there are Filipino people here. I know Filipino people are work are always like, oh my god, wait, that they really miss Jollibee. That when they want to get Jollibee, the only option for them is to go down to Toronto because they don't even I don't think they have it in Montreal as well. So that's the only place they can get it. So my own theory is because Jollibee is from the Philippines and Filipinos they speak English and kind of their menus are in English. So I feel like it's going to be hard for them to be translating some of the menus to French and also if they have to be in Ottawa they have to have 
like people working and they can speak French and I feel like it's gonna be hard for them having someone come in and say bonjour can I get a chick and I get uh, chicken and the person is saying it's in French and you're like ah oh, chicken I don't know that's just my theory I'm not sure if that's the truth but I just feel like maybe having to get the menu and everything in French is kind of like hard on them and also I don't think they will have that kind of like audience year compared to Toronto that they will make a lot of sales because obviously companies come here because they want to make money nobody comes here just to have your name just like I know you want to make money also they don't have a Chick-fil-a I'm sure we have like five or six Chick-fil-a in Toronto now but we don't have anyone here and I'm pretty sure I don't know what um state is close to Ottawa like an American state that's close here I'm not I don't know which one I just kind of feel like, oh my god, why can't you guys have Chick-fil-A? So, like, these things are, like, kind of, like, American brands, right? But also, I feel like if the things have to come to Canada, I get it, Toronto, you will find your sales. But I feel like they should always put option, like, have the open minds you want to create this kind of stuff in Ottawa as well. Because, honey, this is the capital. You guys are supposed to have the things, this things here. Like, just bring it over, please, and thank you. Also... I noticed they don't have a BSW, so BSW is a beauty supply, which we have a lot. So I have them, like I'm kind of surprised they don't have it. They even they actually have I think they actually have a BSW in Alberta, which is a totally different, far away province from here. And I'm like, we don't have it here. Like this is uh, so many things. I'm always like, this is the capital. This is the capital because that's what's going on in my mind. Like these things are supposed to be here. This is the capital for a reason. But wait now that i'm thinking about it like it's the capital of the capital i think just my theory i think they are not having those things because this is the capital so they're not trying to have so much of congested things here because it's the capital so they have to make sure it is safe and there's a lot of like government offices government this ministry of this house of this but i was just thinking that i'm not sure Mm, that's kind of interesting maybe they're kind of reducing and also Canada is very very strict when it comes to regulation they regulate so many things like I mean, don't let us talk about that please maybe because of congestion that's why they don't want to have the stuff but recently I found a beauty supply but not called BSW it's on was it on Bank Street or something I think I found one I'm gonna check it out but I'm not sure yet I'll give you guys an advice later okay those are things I feel like for now I haven't really seen or I haven't seen another version of them except the beauty supply which I just discovered maybe yesterday or today. So maybe with time that I stay more, I'm going to discover, okay, we don't have that one. This is another version or I would know that at this point, the only thing I can do is to travel to Montreal or Gatineau to have those things that we don't have here in this province, which I feel like it is not good to having to travel to another city or another province because of things you want because in Toronto I don't have to travel to actually maybe once in a bit oh it's not really like a city city like we have most of the things back in the city so mm, I don't know yeah but with time everything is gonna marinate I'm gonna get used to it and I'm gonna get like you know adapted to things that we don't have and say you know what it's life you gotta move on you can't just keep complaining or say oh my god we don't have this we don't have this Close mouths. Weather here, it's actually different. I remember during the winter time, there was a lot of snow and it's much colder here compared to Toronto. I was kind of like, sometimes I'm like, wait, when I go back to Toronto, when I used to come back and forth, here like there's snow on the floor and everything like that. And I get back to Toronto and everywhere is just dry. I'm like, what's going on? Like, I'm always like, sh kind of like surprised. But I get it, not everywhere is gonna be the same, but at the same time, like this is the same province. Why are you having different weather? Like, if it's a different province, we get it, but funny, same province is just some cities or oh, four hours, five hours away. Another okay, so now I'm talking about good things here in Ottawa that I love. I've discovered I really loved. Now is the traffic. When it comes to traffic, funny, it's less traffic. I I love it. I don't want to stay in a car for so long driving. I it's I don't really like driving like that, so I don't want to be in a car for so long having to press the brake back and forth. No, here you're going like the 
there's traffic for sure obviously with traffic like and stuff but it's not crazy right now i'm finding like i'm trying to find a new hairstylist because i wear a lot of wig but once it comes to braid and cornrows i can do it myself so i'm still looking for that one with time i'm gonna find out driving here to work is like i said okay it's less people also because sometimes when i'm driving I wouldn't even see anybody. I'm always like, wow, what's going on? I can be driving for like 10, 15 minutes. You won't see anybody on the road. Like, on it, it's quiet. When I say it's quiet, it's quiet. And your ways, like the, your roads looks like much, like highways. Like, they, they're usually like 80 kilometers per hour but in Toronto. Regular ways that are not highway are 60. And when it's communities, they're 40s. But here, communities are... 60s schools houses are like 40s and regular ways are like 80 and your highways are like 100 and also like all of those schools i noticed like most of those schools like you know elementary or high school they always have camera edges they're like yeah so you have to make sure you're driving 40 so if i'm coming from somewhere and i'm driving 50 once i get to those areas i mean trust me i'm going 20 i'm like mm-mm this is 20 i'm not trying to i'm not even getting to 40 i'm like yeah okay. driving to somewhere was like maybe taking me 20 25 minutes and i checked by bus by bus was giving me like maybe 50 or one hour i'm like honey this doesn't add up like why is driving 20 25 and bus is like almost an hour i just don't care why it's so like the distance is so much like that their trains have like three cars in Toronto's our trains line two, I think that's like six or seven cars. The regular ones, the line one has like just one street. And go trains are like six cars. Six cars and they have like upper deck, middle deck, and the lower deck. So that one would take a lot of people. But trains here have just, just three cars, which I'm always like. But then I get it because there's not a lot of people. So I don't think they necessarily need a big train like that. I think also the problem is I checked online and I looked at the population within Toronto and Ottawa. Guys, guess. Guess the population of Ottawa and guess the population of Toronto. Did you get it? Guys, Toronto population is 6.4 million. Ottawa population? <laughs> 1.4. Guys, that's five million. Five million difference. That it's a lot. That's huge. What is going on? Five million? Oh my god. No, now now that I know, I'm kind of like, you know, marinating like okay, okay. 1.4, we're good. I like it. 6.4. Toronto, this is too much. You guys, uh, I was, I'm not, I was shocked. Five billion difference? That's crazy. Like, what the hell is going on? Also, another thing I love about the city, guys, if you have anything that has to do with the government or anything, the, this, the process things faster, way faster. So a couple of weeks ago, I got a ticket for drive for parking, guys. I requested to get reviewed. Maybe let's say I sent the listing today. I got a reply tomorrow. I was like, wait, I looked at my email like, wait, when did I send this email to them? I look, I'm like, what? I sent an email to them today. I got replied next day. It was fast. In Toronto, honey, I am sorry you are not getting reply until the ticket even expires. Because sometimes they will tell you, oh yeah, the ticket is not on the system yet. Because they will tell you I have 15 days to review it. But at the same time, you check to say, okay, let me go review it. I got ticket today. Guys, your ticket is not even showing on the system yet. Because you're taking forever. But here, I got tickets. Even me, I actually delayed it. If I did it faster, it could have... But I was surprised. I'm like, cause in my mind when I did when I did the review, I was like, yeah, it's gonna take them time before they reply. Like obviously, it's gonna pass the 14 days or 10 days they gave me, and you know what? I don't care at that point. But no, I got replied the next day. I was shocked. I was like, okay. So that is kind of like 
something I really love. I'm like I I'm not saying I'm gonna get so much ticket. No, I'm trying to avoid getting tickets. No, I don't want parking ticket, traffic ticket, whatever red lights, speeding, none of that. But it's just so good that you can get a ticket or you can get whatever, but things are gonna get processed so fast, like extremely fast. Things like this, before you can happen in Toronto, it's gonna take a while, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to bash Toronto, it's my city, like I said, I've always said it. it's always gonna be, it's going to be mine. I've lived there, my family's are there, everybody's there, my friends are there. But still, honey, getting things so fast like that, I'm sorry, I have never experienced stuff like that. I guess Toronto has been kind of like, pushing you down, making you take less, kind of like a relationship you are. And it's just it's like, yeah, you're gonna do what I want. I'm gonna do things at the right time I want it, but I don't know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anyways, so I hope with this kind of like pros and cons I'm giving you guys about, about both cities, you're able to decide where you wanna move to and what you want. So like I said, like in the conclusion, if you're a party, life of party traffic boss in life only go to toronto if you are quiet serious minded want to get things done come to ottawa i'm not trying to advertise but please reduce coming to this city because we don't want a lot of people please this is my home now i'm trying to devour into it i don't want so much people i want us to maybe if we increase two million max that's it we're closing the gates i'm not trying to force a particular city on you but with your own research and everything you can decide where you want to move to and i hope this video has been uh, interacting and educative for you to be able to see through from my own uh perspective of the cities since i've lived here and i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching today's video i will see you guys in the next one